say A is for apple. A is for apple? Yeah. What's B for? For ball. B is for ball. C is for chip. and I didn't realize until late last night that Dan actually has thrown or arranged a little party for me today um, just with our family but it'll be really nice because I was kind of hoping we'd get a babysitter and go to Nando so we can actually do something to celebrate my birthday because we didn't really on Wednesday obviously it being a weekday and Lorenzo being at school and all that kind of thing so yeah, we didn't actually do anything um, he ordered a Chinese for me but I fell asleep really early because I was feeling a bit rubbish <laughs> so I feel really bad but um, yeah he's actually arranged this little gathering for me today which I'm really excited about because we get to see all the family and the boys are really excited to see the grandparents so yeah I didn't know until late last night because um, he went shopping in Tesco's and I really wanted to do a food shop haul because I hadn't done one in a while and I know you guys really enjoy that sort of thing but um, he said that I couldn't do it because it wasn't a proper shop and I was like well, what do you mean it's not a proper shop what are we gonna eat <laughs> but obviously I didn't realize that he'd went and brought loads of party food I just need to go and finish off drying my hair because it's a little bit damp underneath because I was rushing a little bit to get ready had a bit of a lay in this morning which is quite nice but I still feel tired I never really know whether it makes me feel better or feel worse I usually feel worse, but um, very weird. So yeah, Dan cut the grass yesterday as well, all in prep, but obviously at the time I didn't realize that it needed a good cut anyway. It's actually looking really good. I don't know if you can see, but yeah, it's looking really good. That was its first cut since it had been laid. So yeah, it needed a good cut anyway. <laughs> Francesco's having a nap. The boys are in here watching Zootropolis. Look. They're just chilling. You chilling out, boys? Yeah. yeah. Uh, <laughs> they're coming. I just put my hair. I want to get his hair, darling. That's not nice. I want my They're coming. No. Yes, yeah, so Nanny and Grandad are coming, which is my my Nanny and Grandad. They call Nanny and Grandad. Um, but yeah. Anyway, we are having a little gathering, which is nice. Can you jump? Good boy, Marco. <laughs> Good boy. Morning, guys. It is half past six. It's half past six on Sunday, the 30th of September. I've been up for an hour already, but I've just been trying to like lay down in bed and make the most of it. I could hear Marco moving around. I got up to feed Francesco, but he went back to sleep again, so I snuck in their room and managed to put him back without Marco seeing me. And then about half an hour later he came in and he just wanted to come downstairs. So 
I brought him down and he's already having a little dance as you just saw. <laughs> We're just watching the Teletubbies just because I want to chill out and I'm not quite ready to start the, not quite ready to start the day yet. What is it? The Teletubbies. I keep feeling quite ill in the evenings recently. I don't know why but I've just like come over all bloated and feel really really sick and last night I don't even know what time it was, maybe about quarter past nine. Oh, excuse me, about quarter past nine. I just, I went all shivery and went freezing, freezing cold. So I just lay down in front of the, heart, the fire and put the heating on, then with a blanket, and I fell asleep. Dan woke me up and just told me to go up to bed because, um, yeah, and he obviously turned the heating off because I was so close to it. He <laughs> wanted me to roll over and burn myself. <laughs> Yeah, and I feel fine this morning, but I don't know what it is. I think I just really need to change my eating habits. I make such bad choices when it comes to food, and it's really frustrating because I know I can eat well, and we do eat healthy, and I eat healthy when Dan is home. But it's like during the week when I'm on my own with them. Because I'm so busy, I just don't really have the time to make myself something healthy. And I just reach for a bag of crisps or have a couple of biscuits to dunk in my tea and that kind of thing. And it's really bad. And then come the evening, I just feel so groggy and so rubbish. So I really need to change my eating habits. I've um, been following SJ Strum's uh, Cambridge Weight Plan journey and it really makes me want to do it. I don't... I think she's lost like four stone, which obviously I know I don't need to lose. But I think one stone would really make me feel so much happier. But I don't know. I don't know if I could do the whole kind of meal replacement thing. Um, because I do enjoy food too much and I'm not sure if Dan would want me to lose so much weight. He doesn't even want me to lose any weight, to be fair. Which is always really nice. And then I get to that point where I'll... Where I'm like, oh, well, he likes me the way I am, so let's have a chocolate cake or <laughs> something like that, which is not good. So yeah, I don't know, I just, I felt so ill yesterday, last night. I ended up going to bed about 10 o'clock, but then obviously I was up all night with the two little ones because they're just an absolute nightmare. I don't know what's wrong with them, and I know everyone keeps saying that I need to go and see a professional about Marco, um, like a cranial osteopath or something to do with his head but I'm you know I'm just so skeptical and it's just such a lot of money all for sleep and I know sleep is good for you and it makes a difference but I don't know I don't know I don't know if it's just because of his boots I don't know what it is but he's a nightmare at the moment and Francesco's teething so he's up quite a bit too so I'm literally they're just tag teaming me all night like one hour I'm up with one the other hour I'm up with the other and it's just back and forth like that so I'm just constantly out of my bed which is really rubbish because then oh god I'm so sorry that's like the third time now I'm up from like half past five all the way through until like 10 o'clock at night and it's just so exhausting and it's non-stop as well they're just constant Especially now Lorenzo's at school, he feels like he always wants to do something. So, like, want to go to the park, or want to go to the shops, or want to go out and do something. Anyway, we haven't really got any plans today, I don't think. Um, I did want to go into the town centre, because I've got a few bits that I need to change from, like, my birthday. But I don't know, I feel like I'm just so tired, I just want to chill out at home. Oh. Oh. You're funny. How are you so full of energy when you don't sleep at night? You must be so exhausted, mister. <laughs> <laughs> you must be so exhausted. <laughs> what are you doing, Dribbles? Ew. <laughs> I've taken his boots off already, so you're free already. You're free already. And you, mister. He's a cute baby. He's a cute baby. He's a cute baby.
boobies. A key what? <laughs> You're funny. Yes, crisps. I, uh, I'm hungry. Have some crisps. No, you can't have crisps, darling. It's seven o'clock in the morning. No, <laughs> not seven o'clock in the morning. It is, darling. It's not even light outside, really. It's still dark. But no, it's not Mr. dark. It's not dark. It is. On the floor. What's going on? What's he you saying? Need the TV. No, why are you so um, silly? I don't need a TV. <laughs> <laughs> I need a TV. Climbing up me already. Didn't take long, did it, mister? <laughs> that didn't take long. You, you are desperate for a haircut. Sun is coming up. Are you ready to go? We can take a ride, we can take it slow Your will is my law, I'ma let you be the boss Cause I'll go where you go I'll take you to a place, we can see it all Step off the edge, I can break your fall Your will is my law, I'ma let you be the boss Cause I'll go where you go this weekend on this vlog we've just really chilled out it's been so nice Dan's just been to clean the cars and he's gone to take my car to fill it up with some petrol and pump up my tyre because my tyre is flat well not flat but it's it's given me a warning to say that it needs pumping so he's gone to do that for me because I don't have a clue how to do that kind of thing so the boys have just been ah, the boys have just been playing with their train sets and I've been doing a bit of tidying and some washing and just the usual mum stuff, the stuff that you do. I'm just going to get their stuff ready for um, school tomorrow because Nico and Lorenzo are both at school. So yeah, I need to get all that sorted, ironed and bags packed and <laughs> make sure Lorenzo's homework is done. Ah, yeah, I'll give you a... Uh, this little guy just keeps pulling himself up onto absolutely everything. He's army, he's not even crawling properly yet, but he's army crawling over to the sofa or the footstool and just pulling himself up to standing and he's even let go, turned around and he's taken a couple of steps. He did that yesterday when my mum was here and just out of the corner of our eye, we just saw him walking away from us and we were like, what the hell is that? What is he doing? It was so funny. We couldn't believe it. We were just in shock. He's not done it again today, but he's definitely letting go turning around and he looks like he's really ready to go I just it's just so bizarre like he's only nearly nine months but saying that Nico was walking from ten months so 
I feel like he's probably just going to do the same thing. Are you just going to walk? Are you just going to take off and walk soon? Which is just, I just can't believe it. I mean, I only had him yesterday, right? Where's my baby gone? Where's my baby gone? Hey, where's my baby gone? I don't like it. I don't like it. <laughs> You're just constant, aren't you? You're constantly on the go. Even in his high chair when we're feeding him food, he just can't sit still. He will sit down, like, wanting the next bit. He's just so crazy. He's just absolutely nuts. Yeah. Having a bath in a minute. Yeah. We can have a bath in a minute. Bath in a minute. <gasps> He's a fan, Franco. Yeah. Is it sore? Yeah. Oh, you're so brave. Yeah. 